Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Upboard and I want to see if it'll run Crisis. So if you're not familiar with the Upboard, I'll leave a link in the description to my initial unboxing and kind of first review. But this little thing is a Raspberry Pi sized Windows 10 computer. Now it'll run Windows, Linux, and Android. It has an Intel Atom X5 Z8350 CPU, clocked in at 1.4 gigahertz. It will turbo up to 1.9. This model has 4 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM and 32 gigabytes of onboard eMMC storage. They do make a few models and I'll leave a link to their website down below so you can go check them out. This little thing's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm running Windows 10 now. It's an unactivated version, but it will not affect performance. Another thing to note is I do have the active cooler on this unit. Picture on screen now. Let's get into it. Let's see if it'll run Crisis. All right, guys, so I got Crisis booted up here. Uh, I am having trouble with full screen on this game, so I have to run it in windowed mode. It has something to do with the Intel integrated graphics. By the way, this thing has an Intel HD 400 GPU. 512 megabytes of RAM is allocated right now, and it runs at 500 megahertz. Let's go into the options and see what kind of settings I'm using here. Obviously, this is a small single board computer with an Atom CPU and Intel graphics, so I had to set everything to low. Everything's on low here. But we are running 1080p, anti-aliasing off, full screen has to be off, and I have VSync on. And I'm going to start it up right now. I'm going to skip this first part and we'll get right into some gameplay. Okay, so I have the FPS listed up so, in the top right-hand corner. So we can already see at 1080p we're running 15 FPS in the sky. Hopefully it gets a little better. I'm not sure if it's going to at the resolution we're running right now. My shoot's gone. My damn shoot is gone. I've got no man, no reserve. Keep it together, kid. You're over water. The suit should absorb the impact. <laughs> no man. What's your status? I'm okay. I'm okay. But my HUD scrambled. What the hell was that? I don't know, but you missed the LZ. Make your way to the beach. On my way. Did anyone hit the LZ? Guys are all over the place. Check in. So I got down and on the level. Just as down. See if he knows it. Has to. We have negative visual feed from the unit. Report. Aztec. Report. Damn it. Prophet, I've made it to the beach. You hit the water pretty hard. Some of your suit functions are offline. Let me run a quick diagnostic. The video feed is breaking up. I'm gonna try to recalibrate. All right. The suit checks out. You're back online. Still no word from Aztec. No man. Rendezvous with Jester and head to Aztec's location. Check your objectives display. All right. So we're here. 15 FPS. Not much going on. So we're just going to keep getting lower and lower when there's gunfire and more people on screen. We're going to have to go to 720. Twelve eighty by seven twenty, and like I said, it is in window mode, so it's gonna scroll down. Yeah, I'm gonna line this up so we can see the CPU usage while we play the game. Okay, so we went from fifteen FPS to about thirty FPS. Not a bad jump. Seems pretty smooth for a tiny board running this game. Maximum speed. Maximum speed. I need to put the suit cheat on so I have uh, maximum energy. Unlimited suit energy. Make sure your silencer's attached. Ooh. 
We're gonna go cap this dude. I did run this on the Latte Panda also, and it runs a lot better on the upboard, but I do have four gigabytes on the upboard instead of two that's on my Latte Panda, and I was able to allocate more RAM to the GPU. Good. Now, in a big gun battle, I could definitely see this go down to 15 to 20 FPS, but my main objective was to see if it would launch it at all. And of course, you're watching me play it now, the CPU usage is very low on this game. I'm very surprised. Now, I also saw this on the Latte Panda. We were only at like a maximum of 50% CPU usage while we're playing this game. What have you got, Aztec? KPA, Fort Bay Patrol. Have you been compromised? Negative. Come on. Got some crazy junk going on. Aztec, talk to me. They're getting them. Even with all this foliage around, it drops. I haven't seen it go. Yeah, there we go. Like 25 FPS. No man, just get to him now. Go, go. We're coming. He did. He real dead. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's truly not that bad. We're gonna skip ahead and go to the first base where there's a lot of activity going on, and we'll see how it performs there. Did I get him before he shot that off? Hell no. Shit, they called in reinforcements. Enemy units headed your way. It's so hard to play at this frame rate. Where are you coming from, dude? Like, I don't know if it looks this bad to you guys, but it is very laggy. I'm just having so much trouble finding people. Even in this firefight, I'm really not sure what the frame rate went to because I wasn't paying attention to the frame rate. Right now we're at 20. It probably did go down significantly though. Maximum all month. Come on. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get him from here. Jeez. 
cheese. So it is playable. I mean, you can even go down lower. Let's see what that does real quick. Mine as well, since we're here. System settings, graphics, 800 by 600, apply, yes. And I'll zoom in on this because I know it's smaller. It's just, I think this is a bug with the Intel HD graphics where I can't go full screen. So it really didn't jump up that much. You'd probably be better off playing at 720p. So final conclusion, yeah, I mean, you could play it if you want to. It's going to suck playing this game at 20 FPS. Even if we look right now, the FPS is sitting at 20. It's going to dip down. Even more, even though we're at 800 by 600 or something like that. I forget what the res was. I don't care, man. This is a suicide mission. We done. We done. I need more juice. Chow Ming. Kill me already, guys. Dude, I could have swore I killed him. Oh well. Yeah, it does run. Not too well. Just wanted to test it out and see if this board could run it. And yes, it does. I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to see me test anything else, let me know in the comments below. I want to go through Windows first and test a bunch of stuff. Then I'll move on to Linux and Android. Next video I do is probably going to be World of Warcraft, just to see if we can play it on here. Like always, thanks for watching.